fuck are you doing in my swamp? Hello everybody, this is Ogreboy and I'm going to be joined by Tristan from the Porchman podcast and we're going to be reviewing the 1988 movie Beetlejuice. So, in this movie, when a young couple uh, accidentally die, they get stuck in their home as ghosts and uh, when a new family moves in, they're trying to figure out how to scare the family off so they try to get the help from a poltergeist demon named Beetlejuice and all kinds of crazy quirky situations ensue as the movie goes on. Um, you never think so. Before I get into my part, I'm going to let Tristan do his part as always. So, take it away, Tristan. The Borch! What's up, guys? Porch Man here. I want to give a huge thanks to my brother, Ogreboy1992, for, for including me in this awesome collab. So, Beetlejuice. This was a classic film of the 80s, one of Tim Burton's best. I think Michael Keaton was the perfect choice for Beetlejuice. I mean, look. The costume design was way ahead of his time with the green hair and the makeup. I mean, he looks like he's, he's on dead, for real. And for this being, I believe, in, a long time ago, I don't remember, I think it was late 80s. But for that time... They did great with the with the effects and makeup and everything, and it it was well done. Oh man, why don't why on Arata when she was young? She did great. I loved her when she was young doing those Tim Burton movies. They were great. I think she does incredible in here. This movie is definitely a classic. I I do recommend anybody to go check this film out before you watch the new Beetlejuice. This movie has a great score as well. The, the score is very good. And of course, the film has a great score as well. The, the score is very good. And of course, the film has its classic Tim Burton-esque to it. And this is a, you know, I know this was like rated like, not like adult themed, but this had a lot of references and I mean this wasn't geared toward kids you know even though it technically the rating was I mean it was a little bit of ahead of its time I guess you know back in the day you know you had the ratings and well PG even though it was like ripping somebody's heart out of their body well that was you know that was Indiana Jones but Overall, Beetlejuice is de de definitely one of the best 80s films by far. And it certainly is one of Tim Burton's best as well. So I do recommend, if you guys have not watched the sequel yet, go check that out. But first, you probably want to watch this film right here. It's, it's a fucking classic, period. So that's really all I have to say. So thank you, old boy, for letting me on this I review with you. And as always, if you have any code you want me to do it in the future with you, just hit me up Messenger. Let me know. All right. Thank you, guys. See you all later. And, uh, yeah. Thank you, Tristan. It's great to have you on here, as always. Um, now, um, I absolutely love Beetlejuice. I think it's a really, really great movie. It's one of those movies that I used to watch a lot as a kid. But it was actually one that I didn't watch near as much as most kids my age. And stuff. I saw it when I was really little, and then I saw it a few times throughout my childhood, and then I didn't really watch it again until I was an adult and everything. I kind of just didn't watch it at all throughout my teen years and kind of had forgotten about it and everything for a while. And then one day I decided to give it a rewatch in my 20s, and I really enjoyed it. And then I hadn't watched it and I had a good rewatch of it in a while until the other night when I rewatched it to do this video, and I forgot how much I love this movie. And everything. It is so much fun, and the cast are great in here. Um, you got Alec Baldwin and Gina Davis, and they're really great as the Matlin Matlins. I think is how you say their name. I'm not good with names, but I think they're really good as as this couple and stuff and everything. And then the Deetses are really great too. You got uh, Catherine O'Hara and Winona Ryder as uh, as 
is, I think it's Delia Dietz and Lydia Dietz, and they're both really great in here, especially when I'm a writer. She just, I absolutely love her, and she's absolutely amazing in this movie. <clears throat> I think this is one of her best performances for sure. And I really like uh, uh, Michael Keaton as Beetlejuice. I think he's just absolutely perfect in the role. He stills the show and everything. There's not much else that I can say about him as Beetlejuice that hasn't been said a million times by tons of other people too. He's just a, a, such a fun and lovable character and everything. And even though he's not a not necessarily a good guy, you can't help but love him and everything. And I think he's a really great, great character. And Michael Keaton does such a great job playing him. And the visuals are amazing here too. Um, I really think that the the visuals look good in here. Um, the the use of practical effects and, and sets are done really really well in here. With it's something that Tim Burton was amazing at doing in his early career was these awesome quirky sh uh, sets and stuff. And the whole underworld or afterlife setting and stuff is so much fun going exploring that world and everything. You don't get a lot of it in this movie. And everything, but the little bit we do get is a lot, of, a lot of fun and stuff. And seeing that uh, the sandworms and stuff was really cool, and everything. And there's so many other great practical effects. The snake with Beetlejuice's head on it is awesome. Uh, the uh, way Bob looks, he's just looks awesome and everything. He's kind of adorable. Um, but they're all oh, the the lady that's cut in half, the the green lady that. It's slit wrist. There are so many just memorable characters and stuff, and they, they uh, do a good job with the ma makeup effects on those characters and everything. And th they just look great and everything. Um, and I think the costumes look great too. And like I said, the, the whole makeup effects and stuff. And Beetlejuice looks great too. They make him look really kind of disgusting and stuff, but they do a really great job. And it also is part of what helps Michael Keaton just escape into the role. And everything. He just, you, you, if you didn't know it was Michael Keaton, uh, you, you wouldn't know what to expect. Or you wouldn't have known it was him. And stuff. And Danny Elfman's score is great too. He, he does a great job with most of his temperate scores. This is one of his most iconic ones. And it's really, really good. It fits this movie perfectly and everything. And I love that too. And the cinematography is gorgeous too. It has some really nice shots throughout the movie that are just absolutely gorgeous and Tim Burton does an excellent job directing uh, this is one of his best movies as far as his directing goes and everything he, he does such a great job bringing all kinds of cool style to this movie and everything and the musical numbers in here are great especially the I think it's Deo I don't know if the name of the song um, but I, I love that song it's really really catchy and the uh, uh, song that's playing at the very end of the movie. I don't remember the name of either one of the songs. I'm so terrible with the names of songs, but I love both of those songs and everything. And it just, it's got some really great moments, especially that dinner party scene when they're all dancing to that song and everything. And it's just really, really fun and everything. And they did a great job with this movie and everything. So, all in all, I think this is an absolute classic. It's got some really great moments. One of the best movies from the 80s for sure. One of Tim Burton's best movies for sure, and it's just, uh, I'd forgotten how great this movie is, and it is so much fun, and everything, and uh, I will be talking about Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice at some point, I haven't got around to it yet, and I shouldn't have said the name of that movie, because now I've talk, I've said his name three times, and that's not a good thing, but um, here we are, um, but anyway, uh, yeah, so uh, I enjoy this movie quite a bit. It's, it's such a great uh, movie. It's a, to me, it's a masterpiece. It's got nothing but a good story, great characters, and awesome visuals, and it's just a really fun movie that is one that I love to watch and everything, and I, I'll be re-watching it a lot more often now that I've re-watched it. I think this one, and like with Pee-wee's Big Adventure, uh, I'm going to be re-watching these movies off and on for the next few years for quite some time and everything, because I had forgotten how much I love this movie, too. And everything so anyway thank you porch man for being in this video again i hope you enjoy being in here i hope you guys enjoyed this video and let us know in the comments what you think of beetlejuice and i hope you enjoyed this video and have a good day everybody come mr tally man tally me banana daylight come and me one go home lip six foot 
seven foot, eight 